after sort of the the tumultuous time and and you getting sole custody and everything else like that, did it eventually work out where you guys started getting split custody and and everything started to kind of work its way out? Um, yeah, man. I mean, time heals everything. Yeah, you know, you could hate somebody for. 20 years of your life and eventually forgive them. Everything will always work out the yeah. way that it's supposed to work out. What's your relationship with Brittany these days? Uh, we're cool, I mean, we're cordial, you know, we talk, we hang out at the games, you know. Wife is cool with her, everybody, you know, it's, I mean. And your kids with Brittany are, are how old now? Nine and 10. Okay, so still, still pretty young. Still, still, still young pretty kids. young. They're getting to that age right now. Yeah, I mean, they're great, man. All of my kids are great. I, I've been so blessed to have the children that I have. You know, they all get along. They all love each other. They all respect each other for the most part. <laughs> I mean, you get that brother, you know, <laughs> you get that family feud in there a little bit, but that's gonna happen. That's, you know, I remember how I was with my, brother, my siblings. Um, but yeah, like family life is great. Well, and I think too, like that's why it took me so long to get to where I'm at right now as far as like doing music again and DJing and, and all that because I took the time out to like help my kids grow up the right way. So, so you essentially just became a full-time father? Like you pretty I mean, much put work, everything I, aside, more or less? The music I did, uh, you know, I did, a, obviously, you know, I did Celebrity Fit Club because I was gaining weight and needed to lose weight. And I'm very unmotivated when it comes to, like, hitting the gym. And <laughs> I, I hate running. <laughs> okay, well, like, how much do you weigh now? Um, shoot, I'm probably, like, 215 right now. Okay, 215. We're, we're about the same size. Yeah, I'm about 210, yeah, 215. Yeah. How big did you get? I was like 245, right around there. That's not too bad. No, but it was like a swollen 245. He's gonna Google and look up the picture right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Dude, you know when the thing is, is like with that, it, it was weird, it's like my metabolism like slowed down, I hit that 30 year old range and like everything just kind of stopped and was like, hey. And oh I, wow, I was, Two, 245 you say? Yeah. Looks a bit bigger. I know. I mean, like, dude, I know. It's because my legs were like skinny, but oh, is that what it was? Because like your gut, my so gut, like... and my man boobs. <laughs> so, was, was there a reason why you got that heavy? You just, just not working out, not dancing. Yeah, I think you know, lack of of physical exercise, and uh, you know, even even my wife Victoria is like, I didn't eat all day long. You know, I'd eat like a little bit in the afternoon, and then at like. 10, 11 o'clock at night, I'd kill a whole pizza. <laughs> okay. You know, so it was one of those things where it was like, just gradually over time, everything just started packing on and I was, who knows what I was thinking. Okay. But I mean, ever since then, you know, it's like you battle, you struggle with it. All, you know, and the older you get, the harder it is. Like right, right now, I'm already, cause I, last year, or maybe uh, like a year and a half ago, I'd got all the way down to like 185, and now I've put on like 30 pounds, and I'm just now like trying to get back down. So it's like this roller coaster of, you know, you just gotta stay active if you could just sit there and think to yourself, stay active. Look how much your kids run around, you know? If you could run around like that, then you'd be golden. Did you and Brittany have a reality show at one point? Uh, they. It was a thing called chaotic, and which chaotic, what it was right. was it was just a bunch of footage that I shot while we were on tour overseas, and they kind of put it all together. <clears throat> okay, so it wasn't a real reality show. It wasn't love and hip hop. Like it wasn't, nah, it wasn't the real. Nah, world. it was like home video footage of sitting down and like being stupid with each other. Okay, and, and <laughs> they they actually put that out. They did. I mean, it was funny. I mean, you know, certain parts of it were funny. Some of it was like, I mean, what are you going to do if somebody hands you like their home footage tapes and it's like, here, make a show out of this. So you guys weren't even involved in the production of it at all? Um, I, I want to say probably a little bit, yeah. Um, 
I, I can't remember like how involved we were. I wasn't, definitely wasn't sitting down in the bay with the guys editing it like, oh yeah, put that there, put this here. Okay. It would have been. So it was just, basically just they offered you a check for this footage and it was like, all right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know exactly like how it came about and how it all like wound up happening. It was one of those things that. All right, because it's not like, I mean, because it came out while you, you and Brittany were still married, right? Yeah. So this is, near the height of her career where she's making hundreds of thousands of dollars per show. So why, why even bother <laughs> with putting this stuff out? That's what I didn't quite understand. I don't know, man, you got me. I have no idea. But it came out. Okay. Um, why'd you decide to go to actually do reality television, you know, with the, um, with the whole weight loss thing? Uh. Celebrity Fit Club. I mean, other than like getting a check to lose weight, I mean, if somebody paid you to lose weight, wouldn't you be like, all right, yeah, let's go right now. Was it a big check or was it? Big enough to lose weight. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. I don't know, you know, I, I think there's, there's a few like decisions that I made, obviously, when it comes to doing reality TV, like that, I probably would never make now that I'm older and I realize, you know, I mean, they offered me even to do shows with the kids and all this stuff. And it's just like, I'm not doing that, dude. Right. You know, it's ridiculous. Um, but at that time, I needed to lose weight. And I felt like, okay, I can do this. I can collect a check and I'm going to lose weight in like nine weeks. You know, it's like a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. They put you on the diet plan. They got you out there working out. They give you the regimen. You know, you're not out there for a whole nine weeks at a time. They make it seem like you're there, but no, you're there for like three days out of the week, you know, and then okay. you go home to your family for four days a week. So, okay. and you're doing your workouts okay. at home yourself and, and mm -hmm. you know, and they're there like at your disposal, you know, the, the, the people that were on the show, um, uh, what was it, Harvey and Ian and them, they were like there if you wanted to call and talk to them and ask them like, look, I need help doing this or, you know. But at that time, like that got me motivated. Um, and that's pretty much like the main reason why I did it because I knew like signing on to that, there's no turning back. Like, I'm not gonna go on TV and not lose weight and look like a dumbass. <laughs> I'm gonna go on there and right. keep my mouth shut and then you know, they throw the whole one of your exes on the show with you into the mix and it's just like, dude, is this a show about losing weight or is it a show about, you know, I mean, obviously that's when I got my first big taste of reality TV and it's so drama driven and it's just like, man, I don't like drama. Yeah. So, you know, after doing that, I, I, I was pretty much done with reality TV. Right. Um, yeah, like I've actually turned down reality uh, TV, bro. TV shows. Like I, I've, I've done guest appearances on Love and Hip Hop, but as right as you, I'm interviewing someone on the show, right? Exactly, it's pushing my job. business. You're doing, exactly, I'm not even. I'm not getting paid exactly. for it. Like exactly. I'm just coming now, if in. I could have reality TV, like Rob Deirdrick has reality TV, then I'd sign up for it all day. You know right. what I mean? It's like. There's two sides of it, right, but, but that, the only reality terms, TV yeah. that they want me for is that drama-driven, oh, let's go find some girl in China that he met about 10 years ago and <laughs> pop up with some kid that looks like him. It's like... <laughs> I feel you. That's, you I know. feel you. So, yeah, I mean, and that's another thing. That's another reason why I think, I, like, I love doing what I do now so much is because... I don't have to do interviews like this. I don't have to talk about my, my personal life. I don't, you know, I just go out there and play for a crowd of people mm -hmm. and watch people get nuts. Yep. Well, you have a new video. Yeah. Out. Uh, you took a shot at uh, Amber Rose and Kanye. I mean, not really a shot, but the whole finger in the booty thing kind of played a role. And it was pretty, it's pretty extreme. Uh, scene i would say meme yeah. it's a pretty extreme meme um yeah you know like for us it, it we just we're trying to show the ridiculousness of hollywood you know not necessarily that that is an actual hollywood driven thing but 
it's like you put these people up here, you love to make fun of them, you, lo you know what I mean? You're like feeding mm -hmm. off of everything that's being told to you. Uh, it, it's, I, you know, some, sometimes it's, it gets pretty outrageous, I think, you know, how far Hollywood takes it. Right. <laughs> Not that I hate Hollywood, I love Hollywood, but it's definitely a two-sided coin. Right, and you had Andy Dick in the video. Yeah, man, I, that was a must. Um, I think like when we, <laughs> when we were even recording the record, we were talking about making sure that we had Andy Dick in the video. So like his part was kind of already like, not fully planned, but we knew like, I knew I wanted him in there. I mean, he's just, he's funny, man. Yeah. He's a pretty good character to have. And it was fun, you know, we, we had a good time. Took three days to shoot. But it's a cool video. I, uh, Thanks, I was watching man. it uh, earlier today. Thanks, man. Definitely, the production value was was great. And and, and honestly, like Andy Dick kind of stole the show. He steals it. He really stole the show. Absolutely. In that, in that video. Absolutely. <laughs> His parts are hilarious. Bro. Definitely. I mean, he's good. Like I said, we knew we couldn't go wrong with him. You know, and I mean, he's he's shoot. He's like 17 months sober now. He was 15 15 months sober at the time that we shot. So uh, he came out with like his sober companion or whatever that is. Uh, and they were cool, man. All those guys. He that's those were the guys that were with him, like his crew in the in the in the video. Okay. And they were all yeah, they were all pretty good, man. Look, I work with them on Mad. Mm -hmm. Good guys. Mm -hmm. Good heart. Good guys. Give you the shirt off their back. <sighs> Is it, is it ironic? Is, is, is it a coincidence that they both, most of their friends are white and got white wives? They like white women? I, I mean. Then they develop envy because they go home. They get out the car with, they, with, with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house, they girl listening to your music. They go downstairs, the kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. 